Hey, what is going on? I'm Derek from Dragon Dragonroid, and I'm back with another new video for the Xiaomi Mi 4. And in this video, we are gonna check out MIUI Pro ROM for the Xiaomi Redmi 4, aka the Redmi 4X. So, if you don't know about MIUI Pro ROM, it's a custom ROM based on MIUI, of course. And the main aim of MIUI Pro ROM is to offer more features over the regular MIUI ROM, which on its own itself is a pretty future packed ROM. So now in order to install the ROM, your device needs to have TWRP recovery installed. So if you haven't already, links for tutorial videos will be in the description below and I'll leave cards right here as well so that you can check it out. So the first thing you need to do is head over to the description and download the ROM file from the link in the description and place it in the internal storage of your device. Now power off your device. and reboot into recovery mode by holding the volume up, down and the power button all together at the same time. Now once in recovery mode, select wipe and swipe to wipe now go back select install and navigate to the rom file where we placed it now select it and install it And now select reboot system. So now the first boot into the new ROM will take a lot of time. So just sit back and relax. So now as you can see the ROM comes with MIUI 9 boot animation. So it doesn't mean it's based on MIUI 9? No, it's not. I'm, I'm just kidding. It's based on MIUI 8 only, but the boot animation alone has been replaced to MIUI 9 by the developer of this ROM. So now the device has booted up, I will complete the setup process and I will be back. So now I have set up the ROM completely 
So now let's take a brief look at all the features that MIUI Pro ROM brings over the regular MIUI ROM. So starting off with the settings menu, just like in MIUI 9, the about phone is removed and instead a new my device section is added in the top which provides all the specifications and software info about your device. So now moving on to the home screen, app icons in the dock have a sort of like a mirror like reflection at their bottom giving the icons a 3D look and it definitely looks cool. And you can change the app layout of the home screen from 4x5 to all the way up to 5x6 which can be very useful if you are someone who installs a ton of apps. The ROM also has Dolby Audio built in for better audio which you can use to tweak in the audio output of your device. The ROM is also pre-rooted with the latest version of Magisk which is version 13.3 and what is more interesting is that it comes with safety.net fix module by default so the ROM basically passes safety.net check without any issues so if you are still playing Pokemon Go well you can play without any issues in this ROM so now moving on to network settings unlike MIUI here you can choose from a number of network types like you can choose either to have 2G only or 3G only or 4G only or you can have it like 2G or 3G or WCDMA or 4G depending on your network you can choose whatever you want you are not restricted to the default 4 preferred network types that comes with the regular MIUI ROM. The ROM also has support for any dirty scripts and busybox built in and it also comes with Xperia keyboard installed which according to me is one of the best virtual keyboards to type on and the ROM also has Xperia Z5 framework built in so you can basically download any Sony Xperia specific apps from Play Store without any issues so now moving on to display settings the ROM offers a list of list animations to choose from and it also has a toggle to enable double tap to wake yes finally but unfortunately it doesn't seem to work now moving on to notification and status bar here you can change things like the number of toggles to be shown in the notification tray and you can also enable or disable the brightness slider. And one cool thing to note is that in battery indicator, if you enable percentage instead of graphical, the color of the battery percentage changes depending on the amount of charge left. And another cool thing to note is that under home screen and recent settings, you can configure home screen gestures like double tap and swipe up to launch any specific app or action of your choice from the home screen. Now moving on to camera, the camera app comes with the MIUI camera mod by default which offers full-fledged manual mode with things like manual focus, focus peaking, shutter speed and basically it's a full-fledged manual mode. And last but not least, the power menu has been replaced with the advanced power menu using which you can directly boot into recovery and fast boot mode right from your home screen. And honestly guys, this has got to be the biggest thing I like about this ROM. It just makes things so much easier to boot into recovery mode right from your home screen instead of doing the power off and then holding the volume buttons and the power button it just saves a lot of time and effort and and truly i don't understand why xiaomi is not including this in the official miui they don't have to include it in the stable rom they could at least add it in the developer rom so overall the miui pro rom does live up to its name and does feel like a real miui pro rom
So if you like this video, go down and hit the like button and for more videos, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos from me. And what do you think about this ROM? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and if you have any tech related queries, you can also leave that in the comment section below, I will answer it. And I will see you guys later, see ya.